Well, you can see here on my screen, I've done some measurement on this casting and every feature has been populated here and I've got all the measurement output. So let me hide that a second though because what I wanted to show you guys is the CAD model. If I zoom in on him, when I pulled him in, I imported that step model in earlier today. And notice this, the, um, the surfaces, all the patches look a little bit chunky. Okay, inside here in this uh, cylindrical bore too, they all look just a little bit chunky. Well, that's kind of the default that came in as I was importing this CAD model because I let the tessellation default to what the, uh, what the model or what Polyworks just defaulted to. So let me show you what I would do different there. And the word tessellation, I'm not really sure quite what that's standing for, but let me show you where we can find that here. If we go to Properties, and then go under reference. Look at this. We've got, we have um, surfaces used for the compilations here and the tessellated surfaces is selected as a radio button here. So here's a default that comes through Polyworks is this tessellation tolerance. It's at about 10 microns right now for millimeters. So I'll move over just a little bit. And say I wanted this chunky surface patch to get a little bit smoother what I can do is I will break that down. I'll cut that in half to about five microns and then hit apply. Now watch what happens to this surface after that application. See it got a little bit better, a little bit smoother. Still I like it to be a little bit smoother. I'll go to one micron and apply it one more time. And then watch what happens here another time. It takes it just a little while to, uh, to process this in that CAD model. But once it's done, you'll be able to see how smooth those surfaces actually are. And that's just a default that's coming in through Polyworks. Okay, there we go. So look at that patch now. Those patches look great. The cylindrical bore here looks beautiful. So I'm just playing around with this tessellation here to clean up this model. It's not as big of a deal for circles or any kind of a cylindrical feature, just because that center point is always maintained. But if I'm doing surface profile stuff, then I definitely want that profile of that surface to be as smooth as I can as it's coming from the CAD model. Okay, so if you want to do that before your model comes in though, what you'd end up doing is, and my model's already in here, so I'll show you what I would do here. I would reference, import, so I right click to get import, CAD model. So whenever you're pulling your CAD model in, you start it with the options right here. So instead of opening, go to your options here and then it defaults to the CAD models here and you can see that the default properties for tessellation in millimeters is 10 microns. So you can play around with that number there before you pull your CAD model in and um, yeah and again if it comes in and it's a little bit too chunky you can just go right under your I'll cancel out of this a second go right under your your CAD model that's imported right click and go under properties and over to reference and then tessellation shows up right here.